above all else guard your heart for everything you do comes from it tuned in to Jaja's Mike, home of the world's toughest leaders. It's a pleasure to have you. If this is your first time joining me, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Daily inspiration and motivation from not only myself, but featured guests. Individuals who don't understand what an obstacle looks like. <laughs> we wake up in the morning looking for brick walls to run through. It's a pleasure that you finally joined the community. Today, today, my leaders, my... <laughs> God has so put on my heart to talk to you all about the writer versus the pen. And to connect this message, I want you to look inside Proverbs 4.23. And in Proverbs 4.23, it reads, Above all else, guard your heart. For everything you do comes from it. Above all else, guard your heart. My ladies and gentlemen, my leader. The most important aspect before you even touch a pen is you, the writer. It's about the writer, not the pen. And the reason this message touches my soul, the very depths of my soul, is because I never knew that the pen, my pen, was going to be this lens in which I'm talking to you from. I didn't know. I didn't know. And in the earlier days when I started to grab my lens, I didn't quite know what I wanted to write. I didn't quite know what I wanted to record with this pen. And because I didn't know what I wanted to record with my pen, because I didn't know myself, I didn't know the true identity of my heart and my desires, I would I just remember vividly going to different type of shoots and I was willing and ready to shoot whatever. I was ready to write any type of story. And to explain this even more, I didn't guard my heart. And I would take the lens, which was my pen. Ladies and gentlemen, the pen is the representation of God's gifts, the thing that he's given to you. These external things that you know how to utilize with great, with great effectiveness. These are, this is your pen. Because the camera can't use itself. The pen can't write itself. The pen needs a writer. <laughs> the car needs a driver. And I just remember taking my camera to all sorts of shoots and locations that, you know, some being very provocative or having a lot of substances and narcotics and some very erotic. Some shoots where there's a huge amount of weaponry. <laughs> I didn't care. Young Jaja with the lens didn't care. If it was a shoot, I'm going to it. Right? God, you gave me this pen, right? So I'm just going to start writing. That's the purpose of the pen. God, you didn't tell me to write purposefully. <laughs> and because I wasn't, I wasn't guarding my heart, above all else, I wasn't guarding my heart. I didn't know what type of places that I should be utilizing this lens. Another example, I, before doing Jaja's mic to the extreme in which I'm doing it now, I remember one specific weekend, I'm sitting at Starbucks, 
organizing my planner for the week and I'm I'm asking God how can I take this channel to the next level how can I make my messages more impactful how can I write better messages and because I didn't know the meaning of guarding my heart I was really into provocative hip-hop back in the in the day I still am but I couldn't decipher provocative hip-hop for myself <laughs> I couldn't decipher the two so the provocative hip-hop which was affecting my soul or my very essence and my very being was becoming me and because it was becoming me I, I told myself I said man maybe if I start cursing on this platform that'll get them yep yep that'll get them let me start cursing let me show them my passion. Let me start cursing. Instead of articulating and crafting a more meticulous message, I just wanted to start cursing. Because in the rap, in my rap songs, every time somebody cursed, that hit me. <laughs> those cap, those, those F-bombs affected me emotionally. Maybe that's what I need on my channel. And on that weekend at Starbucks, I remember going outside and there was five young adults sitting there. I didn't know these individuals, but I pulled a chair up and I sat down and I asked these individuals, I told them, I said, look, y'all got this platform, it's motivational, but I'm having trouble knowing if I should keep it clean or if I should start cursing. You know, what do y'all think I should do? And they looked at me, they said, well, man, you know, you know, some Caucasian American, they said, you know, well, man, you know, um, um, if, if cursing is authentic to you, I would presume that it would just be right for you to, you know, go out and start, you know, I curse all the time, matter of fact, you know, that's, that's me, you know, <laughs> I curse all the time, and, you know, if this is something that you do, I suggest that you just go start cursing your way, you know, I, it'll be from the heart, it'll be from the heart, <laughs> and what made me feel so good about the honesty that I was receiving from these young adults is that they kept saying that if it's from the heart and if that is you then put that on the camera display that and at the time because above all else my heart wasn't guarded that's what I wanted to allow to flow from my very essence and my being as the writer that's what I wanted to flow on paper through my gift of the pen, through my gift of being transparent through the lens. But oh, God didn't allow that to happen. <laughs> he started to show me. He started to show me, yo, Jaja, Jaja, I'm a, I gotta allow you to understand that I've given you something, but this is not the way I want you to go about it. Like, you are the writer. And this is the pen in which I've given you, Jaja, but I need you to use this the right way or else You'll be going down the wrong path. <laughs> and my leaders, my leaders, Proverbs 4, 23, above all else, guard your heart. I say this very, very potently because I, I want you this season, my leader, I'm talking to you right now. I want you to understand something very important. Yes, you have a gift. Yes, God is giving you something. He's giving all of us something, whether you realize it or not. But you will not understand exactly what it is that you're writing. If you don't guard your heart. You won't even really know what you're supposed to be creating or how you're supposed to be creating it because like me, you're going to start taking every opportunity that seems right. And at first that's cool, but eventually you got to decipher the difference between the right opportunity and the wrong opportunity, right? You got to be able to decipher what makes your story unique. I don't have a hip hop life story, right? I don't, I don't have that. I didn't grow up in the trap. <laughs> right I didn't grow up without a father I didn't grow up without a mother I didn't grow up in them circumstances that's not my story to write 
My, my story is specifically how God has actually been helping me throughout my life. How I'm able to really see God working in my life. That's my story. How I want to help people develop confidence and get out of depression and suicidal thoughts. That's my story. How I want to motivate and inspire daily. That's my, that's my story to write with my pen on the lens. How I want to use my lens to help create more positive influence through music videos and people's careers and things that are like documentaries and short films and incredible speeches. That's my, that's my pen. That's my story. But until I guarded my heart as a writer, the correct things couldn't flow from that. And my leader, I, I want you today, I want you to analyze what is flowing from your pen and look at that stuff that's flowing from your pen and ask yourself, is this really authentic to who I am? Or am I just writing things because they, they seem cool, right? Yeah, yeah, if I, if, I, if I start cursing, that'll do it. Oh, if you start being like, like her, that'll do it. Oh, yeah, if you start being like him, that'll do it. It won't do it because it's not you. And many of these individuals whom you're looking at have yet to guard their own heart. Don't follow that. The only truest thing you can follow is the things that are dear to your heart. Find it. Guard it. Pray about it. Ask God. This is the leadership challenge. I need you as a leader, the writer who has been gifted with a pen. Ask God, what do I need to guard my heart from? Lord, show it to me. So many things I need to guard my heart from. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, I come to you today on this phenomenal day that you've woken me up and I, I thank you for giving me the pen. And dear Lord, as the writer that I am, I ask you to just continue to come in my heart because you've told me in Proverbs 4.23 that I must guard my heart for out of it, this is where the things flow. God, I just wanna know if the things that are flowing from my heart as a writer to my canvas with the pen are the things that are authentic and divine for my life. Lord, I only want to follow the things that are designed for my life. Father, I don't want to continue to compare myself, Father. I don't want to continue to do the things that I think is right, but I want to do the things that I know are right. Father, show me the things that you have blessed me with, Father. Guard my heart, Lord. Guard my heart. As the author of my life, allow me, the writer, to be able to guard my heart, Father, because I know this is going to create the change in which I want to see in my life, Father. Come into my life in the name of Jesus Christ and my leader. If you, as the writer, control the contents of your pen, I'm a firm believer that your life will be changed. We are ja, I won't, I won't be accepted. This new me will not be accepted in the place that I came from. We can't operate like this. My family doesn't do things like this.